Well, hello and welcome to our Tuesday Encouragement this week. I figured it was close enough to Christmas that it was time to start wearing my Christmas jumper in public. I hope you're ready for Christmas. It's not far away, just a week and a little bit to go. And there's a huge amount happening this week and I really want to encourage you to join in with all that you're able to join in with. The first thing to say is later on today we have our final prayer gathering of 2020. You're warmly invited to join us at 12.30 this afternoon until one o'clock as we share together on Zoom to pray together as a church. Hope you can join us for that. As the weekend comes, this coming weekend is our kind of big focus for Christmas where we're really hoping many people will be joining us on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. On Sunday afternoon at four o'clock, we've got our Families Together Christingle event. If you're a family in the life of the church and you'd like to join in with that, uh, then you need to sign up for that. The link is in with the email that came with this Tuesday encouragement, but it's really important that you sign up today because the deadline is today. And this coming Sunday evening, we're really excited to have our first ever Carols by Candlelight online. Of course, we're disappointed that we can't gather together in person, but we're hoping that we're gonna have a great crowd join us online, seven o'clock on Sunday evening. Let me encourage you to take the opportunity to invite family and friends to join us. It couldn't be easier. They don't even need to leave the comfort of their own home. All you need to do is just share the links with them. We're going to be streaming that content on our online church platform, on YouTube and also on our Facebook page as well. So please do encourage folk to join us if you can. A couple of advance warnings. One is to say that on Christmas Day, we will be live streaming at 10.30 in all the usual places. So I hope you can join us then. If you've got family or friends joining you or staying with you in your home, then why don't you settle down and watch just a short live stream from 10.30 till about 11 o'clock on Christmas Day. On the 27th of December, we're not actually going to be having a service at all. Uh, so please don't try and tune in on that Sunday because we won't be broadcasting anything at all. But we are really excited to share that the very first service we'll have together on the 3rd of January in the new year will actually be a Zoom gathering. So I hope you'll be able to sign up for that. We will be live streaming that content to the usual places as well. But we thought it would be really encouraging to be able to see one another and be together as we share in communion and share together an act of commitment as we head into a brand new year 2021. Well, it's my real privilege now to invite Ginny uh, Bolchin to share with us a Tuesday encouragement today. She's written a piece of poetry, which I hope you'll really enjoy. The perfect follow on from our teaching at the weekend. God bless you. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Hello. Um... Every Christmas, I like to think about one person or event from the Christmas story, really focus on it. Um, and this year, I've been really thinking about Elizabeth, the wife of Zachariah, uh, the mother of John the Baptist. Uh, and these are the thoughts that came. And those who know me won't be surprised to know it's in verse form. It's called Elizabeth. This has been the strangest year, full of joy and tinged with fear. The barren one has been my name, full of sadness and of shame. And despite our priestly call, we have no son, no child at all. We've hoped and prayed, but all in vain, no child to carry on the name. <clears throat> and then one day the lot was cast my husband chosen for the task of entering the holy place to represent God's chosen race. For many days I sat to wait, to hear his footsteps at the gate. And then he came in from the night, his face and eyes so full of light. I questioned him, there was no sound. A writing tablet soon was found. He slowly wrote it down for me and lifted it up so I could see. An angel in the holy place spoke to me there with shining face. God says that we will have a son to walk before his coming one. I sadly did not believe. We're too old now to conceive. The angel said, your son will come until that time you will be dumb. 
we held each other, then I knew that what the angel said was true. My heart was flooded full with joy to think that we would birth a boy. For months at home, I hid away, waiting for that special day. Then suddenly a tiny start, a quickening beneath my heart. And very soon along the way came cousin Mary here to stay. So pure, so beautiful as she stands, reaching out she clasps my hand. The child within me leaps up with joy. He recognised the saviour boy. Blessed are you Mary, chosen one, to be the bearer of God's son. We sat and talked and laughed all day. So glad was I she came to stay. We knew the secret of God's plan, that he himself would become man. She left and soon my time had come. With pain and anguish came my son. And later we called out with joy that God had given us a boy. What is his name? The neighbours say. He must be named, be named today. His father stood. The room was stilled. He took a breath. His mouth was filled. His name is John. It is God's will. He has a purpose to fulfil. For God's Messiah is on the way. John will prepare you for this day. And as I held my child at last, a shadow over me was cast. I knew his life was not for me, that it would pain and troubled see. But I am glad to play a part in all the love of God's great heart.